We're going to look at how to find missing angles in triangles and quadrilaterals. Our first question shows us a triangle and asks us what is the measure of the missing angle. So the thing that you need to keep in mind for any triangle, the three angles add up to 180 degrees. So I'll put 180 degrees total. So once you know that, we can set up an equation to find the missing angle. So let's call the missing angle X, right? The one with the question mark is the one we're trying to find. So if I know that all three of these angles, the 35 degree angle, the 44 degree angle, and X have to add up to 180, I can write an equation that says X plus 35 plus 44, right? That would represent all three angles in my triangle has to add up to or equal 180 degrees. And now I can use this to solve my equation for x. I'm going to start by adding together 35 and 44. That gives me 79. So I can simplify this and say x plus 79 is equal to 180. And then from there, if I want to get x by itself, they're adding 79 to it. My opposite would be to subtract 79 on both sides. Okay, over here that leaves me with just x. And on the other side, 180 minus 79 leaves me with 101. So angle x must be 101 degrees. We have a similar problem. What is the measure of the missing angle? So we're going to set it up the same way. The question mark is x, and we know all three angles, x plus my 52 degree angle plus my 28 degree angle, all need to add up to or equal 180 degrees because any triangle, all three angles, 180. And then to simplify, add together 52 and 28. That gives me 80, so x plus 80 is equal to 180. And then to get x by itself, I would just subtract my 80 on both sides. Okay. 180 minus 80 gives me 100, so x must be 100 degrees. What is the measure of the missing angle? Okay, well we know the three angles add up to 180. So x plus 40 plus 56 all need to add up to or equal 180 degrees. Well 40 plus 56 is gonna give me 96. And then I'm going to subtract 96 on both sides. And 180 minus 96 leaves me with 84. So that angle must be 84 degrees. What is the measure of the missing angle? Okay, we're gonna call our question mark or missing angle x. We know that the three together, x plus 28 plus 26, all together need to add up to 180 degrees. So we're gonna set them equal to 180. 28 plus 26 gives me 54. So we can say x plus 54 is equal to 180 degrees. And then we're gonna subtract our 54 on both sides and see what we are left with. And we're left with 126, so our missing angle is 126 degrees.
we're going to do the same setup here. We've got x plus 50 plus 20 is equal to 180, right? All three angles adding up to 180 degrees. We know 50 plus 20 is 70. And if we subtract our 70 on both sides, we're going to be left with 110. So our missing angle, 110 degrees. Okay, setting up our problem here. We know the three angles together are adding up to 180. So x plus 42 plus 28 equals 180 degrees. Combining our like terms, our two numbers, 42 plus 28 gives us 70. So x plus 70 is equal to 180. We're going to subtract the 70 on both sides. And that leaves me with 110 or 110 degrees. Okay, notice this side, this time we do not have a triangle. This time we have a quadrilateral, right? A quadrilateral means a figure with four sides. Quad always means four. So we've got a four sided figure. Now our setup is going to be similar except all four angles are going to be equal to something a little different. Now, if you think about a square, you know a square has four 90-degree angles, and that's just one example of a quadrilateral. But if you take 90 times 4, that gives us 360. And this is actually true of not just squares and rectangles, but actually all quadrilaterals have four angles that add up to 360 degrees. So we can say our missing angle is x and set up an equation to show that when we add up all four angles, they're gonna equal 360 degrees. So it's the same idea as what we did with the triangle, except we're adding four angles together for 360 instead of three together for 180. So in this case, my equation would look like this x plus 80 plus 100 plus 101 is equal to 360. We're going to add those three numbers together, 80 plus 100 plus 101. That gives us 281. And then to solve for x, I'm just going to subtract that 281 on both sides. And that leaves us with 79. So our missing angle must be 79 degrees. What is the measure of the missing angle? Okay, again, we've got a quadrilateral meaning a figure with four sides, so we know all four angles are going to add up to 360 degrees. So setting up our equation, x plus 120 plus 102, right, I'm just filling in the three angles I know here, plus 60, all together, all four of those have to add up to or equal 360 degrees. Our next step, adding those three numbers, 120 plus 102 plus 60 is 282. So x plus 282 is equal to 360. And then to solve for x, we're simply going to subtract 282.
and that leaves us with 78 degrees. So our missing angle must be 78 degrees.